the pulse. The standard tube for the pulse is an 18350. I, I was lucky enough to get all three tubes for this. This is the 18650 tube. Um, I'm using it in 18500 mode right now. Um, and then you have the 18350 tube, which is the one that is the standard, and that'll come with the serial number on there. Um, let's talk a little bit about the device before we do close up. So, um, the device is made of 304 grade stainless steel. Um, oh, sorry, Norway, hold on a sec. Interrupting myself. There you go. That worked. There we go. That's a hyperlink for you for Vape Syndicate. So, uh, anyway, it's made of 304 grade, uh, talking about the pulse again, 304 grade stainless steel. It's got copper contacts, both the positive and negative. Uh, it's a telescoping positive pin, all copper. Um, like I said, the standard tube size is 350. There are other tube sizes available. It's got a two-tone finish. The, um, the, the body of the device, the tube of the device is brushed. Um, the, uh, the switch ring is polished. The top cap is polished. But one thing that I, I actually like quite a bit is the bottom of the button is brushed. Um, and that's the part that you're going to potentially scratch up uh, if you're not careful putting it down on a, a hard surface, that type of thing. So I like that that's brushed. It hides the scratches a little better. I also like that the main tube is brushed. I like my devices to be brushed. So the, sta the standard finish, which I believe is the only finish available, I think is, is perfect. Um, it has, it's 22 millimeter. Uh, it does have air ventilation in the base uh, of the switch. Uh, and it's got a reverse threaded lock ring. So, um, the base model, the 18350 tube, is $115. However, uh, what Vapor Craze is doing with this sale is um, the standard package is going to include the 350 and the 500 tube for $155. There's also going to be a very limited quantity of the 650 tube package, so that would include all three tubes, and that would be uh, for $200 for all three tubes. Um, so, and this is kind of interesting. It's been 115 years. Um, as of June 12th, that Philippine, uh, uh, that the Philippines has been independent, and they're celebrating into Philippine Independence Day by doing this um, sale that goes on sale at 1:15 a.m. for 115 years Filipino time on June 12th, 2013. So that's actually 10:15 p.m. Pacific time. So, um, that's when it's going to go on sale. On June 11th, 10.15 p.m. Pacific Time. I think I got all that right. So, uh, and it's going to be available at um, 310 Vapors on the website. It's also going to be available at Vapor Craze in store. Um, I'm sorry, no, I got that wrong. That is not right. <laughs> uh, it's going to be available at... Um, 1.15 p.m. California time, Pacific time, on June 12th in the storefront. So, a few different times there. Sorry about that. Um, and this is for the Pulse mod by RM Mods. Um, so, let's talk about the device. Yeah, all over the place with the time, sir. I think I got it right, though. So, <laughs> um, What's it come with? Like I said... Uh, you know, you get the you get the mod set up. Um, no extras with it, um, but you can get it with 350 and the 500 tube, or you can also get the, the additional 650 tube package with it as well. 22 millimeter. Um, let's talk about the way that this thing looks. So I told you about the brushed finish on this already. Um, let me take the atomizer off of here real quick, so we can show you how this thing looks. So. Um, hold on a sec. Let's put that down over here. So the um, the bottom cap 
pretty cool design. Oh look, it focused for me automatically. Nice. So, as you can see, it's got alternating finish from the brushed to the polished to brushed to polished. Now, the way that this works, it's got it looks kind of like a gear, the lock ring on it. It functions very similar to the Caravella. Um, you can either you can actually either twist the um, you can either twist the the gear itself, or I think the easiest way to do it is you actually just twist the um, the switch, and the gear turns automatically because it's reverse threaded. It's super super smooth. The threading on it is really really fine. Um, it's really really nice threading, and I think it looks fantastic. Um, so. The top cap, you can see here, hopefully, there we go. This has um, grooves if you want to use something that uses airflow through the 510 connection. Let me show you the inside of the switch real quick. Let's pop this baby. Actually, you know what? I want to show you the logo real quick because I think it looks gorgeous. So this is, like I said, it's called the Pulse Mod. You can see the little logo on there. You're not gonna, you're not gonna cooperate, are you, you bastard? Okay, autofocus off. Here we go. All right. Ah, uh, okay. All right. Yeah, the the message I had earlier had it had it messed up uh, after math. It said at 1:15 a.m. Uh, Philippine time. That's why I was confused. Um, so. Just to clarify, it's June 12th, 115 a.m. East Coast time, 1015 Pacific time, uh, which is June 11th, 10 p.m. Pacific time, uh, that this goes on sale online, and it goes on sale at 115 p.m. Pacific time in store. So, there we go. Um... So let me show this to you real quick. This is the logo on here, okay? It's just a little EKG pulse. Really, really classy looking. I like that a lot, uh, or the engraving on here. I think it looks really cool. Inside the bottom button, you have, you will find a setup that um, is very similar to the Caravella, okay? Um, you've got two vent holes there and you have a solid copper very big flat contact there's no Delrin in there there's no spacer the battery actually sits on top of the ring around the outside here okay um, and that prevents the contact with the battery so no it's it's the other way around tally 10 15 p.m. Pacific time, 1.15 a.m. Eastern time. Um, that's when it goes on sale online. So, anyway, um, so if you're familiar with the Caravelle, it's a very similar setup, like I said. And the level of quality on this, and this is what really impressed me, um, is actually comparable uh, to that of a Caravelle. So, you, like I said, you've got this really nice, smooth, lock ring here. You just turn the button and the lock ring goes up and down. The threading is a little finer than on the Caravella. It's a different thread uh, count so you have to turn it a, a little bit more um, to get it to lock and unlock. Same thing with the attaching the different pieces of the device together but um, you get the idea. Now let me show you what the top cap looks like real quick. Underneath you have a telescoping double positive pin solid copper okay copper you will need to keep clean you will need to maintain it but it is extremely conductive just slightly less conductive than silver uh, but it requires quite a bit less maintenance than silver you don't have to clean it weekly uh, but you should clean it regularly because it will build up some oxidation so you want to make sure that you clean the pieces that connect to the battery you want to clean the threads on the inside of that telescope you also want to clean the pin on the inside there where it's actually going to be connected to the atomizer um, Let's see. So, that is all the up close there.
Um, so you know this uh, you you've seen this before probably in brass. It's very similar to the the the, the pin on the Chiyu, um, but it is in all copper, which is a more conductive material than brass, of course. So let's take the autofocus off here. Let me put this little guy back together so that we can vape it. Um, so, like I said, threading, super, super smooth, but it's very, very fine, so you got to turn it a few more times. Not exactly a big deal. Um, it's super, super buttery smooth threading on this, though. Um, all right. Let's see. Oops. I loosened up my little telescope a bit. One moment. Uh, where did I put my Addy? There we go. Um... Oh, you know, actually, that's another piece of vape mail that I forgot to mention because I'm actually using it right now. I got my Hellfire Dripper this week, so that's cool. Uh, um, <clears throat> so that's what I'm using on top of the pulse right now. So, anyway, that is what it looks like on the inside. Very similar to, like I said, a Carabella. The positive pins on it are um, similar to the Chiyu. The materials are different. It's copper contacts. It's going to get better conductivity. Um... The, the level, I, I will say this right now, the level of quality on this device uh, of all of the mods that I have tried um, from the Philippines, um, this absolutely has the, the, the machining quality, um, the quality control on this device, absolutely the best. No question in my mind, absolutely the best. I mean, we're talking literally, and, and some people will consider this sacrilege that I even say this, but I'm talking like Caravella level of quality control on this pulse. Um, everything is seamless. Um, there's no spaces or gaps on everything, a a on anything. Everything's super smooth. Everything threads perfect. There's no burrs. Everything's super mint. I mean, everything that's polished doesn't have a mark on it. Um, it just no you know there's no wiggle on the button there's nothing everything that is just super 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 high quality um absolutely thrilled with the level of quality from this the performance on it blow, blow blows me away um hits just as well as any other high-end device uh that i have used hits like a Poldiac, hits like a Caravella, hits like a Chiyu, hits like a Bear Brass Mod. All the high-end um, 1800 or 18XXX um, battery mods, uh, it, it is on par with those in performance. Um, and it's less expensive. Um, I don't know how many are going to be available. I hope that these, you know, maybe the first batch will be small. I hope that this becomes a readily available device because this is a really classy looking, in my opinion, extremely high performance, extremely high quality device for a very, very reasonable price. I mean, like reasonable price like I've never seen before on a device of this quality. That, you know, the fact that the 18350 tube alone, you know, if that eventually is sold in the U.S. as a standalone, the 18350 device, it's going to be $115. I mean, amazing. It's amazing. Um, so, I, um, I hope that it becomes, like I said, I hope that it becomes a readily available device. Um, I, I wouldn't be surprised if it does not because of the amount of effort that's put into it and the level of quality control on this device. Um, so, oh, okay. So I guess they're going to have a hundred of them available for online sale. Um, which is, you know, so you have a little more time to buy one than you would, uh, you know, a limited edition, uh, iHybrid, but, um, but they're going to sell out fast. I mean, the thing is absolutely phenomenal. It's absolutely incredible. Um, this is a absolutely a keeper. I'm going to go broke, uh, because I keep, <laughs> they keep getting these really nice devices, uh, you know, between the arrow and this, uh, I'm, I'm not going to sell these. This, the, I mean, this is absolutely going to stay in my collection because it's friggin' phenomenal. Um, so, oh, YG, did you just get here? You missed the, uh, the arrow review. You'll be, you'll be happy when you see the, uh, 
the replay though. I absolutely love it. So anyway, um, back to the pulse. Negatives. Um, honestly, the only negative I can think of is the limited availability. Um, like I said, it hits as hard as anything that I've ever used. The quality control's phenomenal. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. It's really, really classy looking. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't really, I can't really think of anything negative other than the fact that it's going to be a limited quantity. Um, you know, which sadly is the case with a lot of the really nice stuff. I'm going to take a vape on it, though. I haven't actually vaped it while I've been doing the review here. But I'm, I'm using, like I said, the Hellfire dripper on here. This is a really nice little dripper. We'll be doing a, I'm going to do a, sh a show specifically about drippers in the future that, that we'll be sh talking about this on. So, anyway. That's awesome. Hold on. Oh. Phenomenal. Phenomenal vape. Um, it's absolutely... It hits like a train. It's absolutely fantastic. Like I said, super high quality. It, it, I can't recommend this device enough. Um, really nice job by RM mods on this one um, you know I hope that he's been I hope he'll eventually be able to produce enough to meet the demand demand on it because I'm telling you right now the demand is going to be very very high um, I know the words already getting out about the device and and people are getting very excited about it so anyway that is the pulse by RM mods super super device huge thumbs up from me best device that I've ever used um, from the Philippines um, super high quality control, um, just e exceptionally well made. I know I'm, I'm, I'm starting to sound like a fanboy here, but it is really that good. I, I'm not, um, I'm not exaggerating. It's fantastic. Like I said, I'm talking like Caravella level quality here. Um, you know, maybe just a tiny step below that for a much more, um, affordable price so there you go that's the uh that's the pulse by rm mods